everyone how are you doing super <laughs> that's like my little sister Akbewe would do the intro of her youtube channel at the intentional life my name is busola if we have not met thank you for coming around today and if you are always here i'm delighted to see you again thank you you are super i hope you let me wander around a bit today not aimlessly, we're going somewhere. So please stay with me. I started by talking about Akwewe. It was a couple of weeks ago when I was doing some discussion on going for the next adventure. Go for it. Don't stay stuck at the planning stage. Coincidentally, Akwewe was also talking about her YouTube adventure and encouraging people to go for the next adventure. In the second part, she talked about practical tips to succeed on the adventure. She talked a lot about me in both videos. But that's not the reason I wanted to check out her videos, even though I feel honored that she talked about me. The reason is that those tips she shared are similar to what I would have come to share with you. And I thought, what's the point? doing it all over again. You may well check out what she says. The thing about asking for feedback is now you're not asking for feedback to at least pat you on the back like, oh, well done. Um, you're asking for feedback from people that you know are in your corner that are not afraid to tell you the truth. But obviously when they're telling you the truth of something wrong or something you need to fit, you need from a place of love. I'm going to leave you with that video when I'm done so that you can go to her channel and watch that and that could be my part three of my adventure series the next thing i want us to look at is where we've been where we are and where we're going thank you for joining me on this fantastic adventure and for staying with me some people have told me your youtube channel has become a part of my weekend relaxation and some have said I've not missed a single one and so thank you thank you thank you we've talked about celebrating yourself celebrating your family and celebrating your friends enjoying life and then we looked at what about when life doesn't give you what you want when there is sadness and we came to the conclusion that sadness and joy are not opposites you can still thrive in the season of sadness you can choose to be joyful when life is sad someone asked me what if i choose joy and sad things keep happening hey <laughs> my answer to her was continue to choose joy and that's not just to give a part answer and get her out of my way no but it's because that is the answer that is the solution when sad things come Choose joy. As you continue to choose joy, what you're doing is developing your joy muscles, exercising yourself in joyfulness. You can call it joy training, just like you say, strength training, joy training. We're still going to talk more on choosing joy and developing your joy muscles. Some people have gladly agree to share the experiences with us. We don't want to miss those. You may have noticed that I usually have a main theme running for a while, and then there are other supporting themes. We've been having Choose Joy, for example. We're going to continue to do Choose Joy. Some people have agreed to share their story with us to help us along the way. So, through their stories, we're going to learn to strengthen our joy muscles. Then, I'll be looking at friendship. Finally, friendship. And other smaller things, would I say? Those songs that are small things and they become big. But for now, I'll say some smaller things like asking, like living a life of legacy living legacies and then there's something new that's coming on new but you may not be surprised 
because you know that I love reading and I'm a book person. So that would be book review, a review of my books. And it's not a marketing thing, so it's not to market you, but it's to bring on people who have read the books, my books, and share their perspectives. So you'll be able to hear the content, about the content of the books from different perspectives. If you've read the book, you would feel, oh, I didn't notice that was there. Well, yes, I saw that one. And exactly what I thought when I read this one. And if you haven't read the book, you have people come to share from the content of the book. Always on book review days, I will include the links to the books, just in case you decide to buy the books. If you've liked this session, click like and please share with your friends. You never know, they may be blessed by our small talk. If you haven't subscribed, it's a good time to do so. Your comments are always welcome because they are always helpful. And so don't forget to go on to Apple's video. Thank you. That's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.